Okay, Shane on the left with Lance, David on the right with Demir. Mishra's bobble getting cracked here. Going to take a look at the top card. And I didn't see it, but David did. Mr. Art says breakfast is real good right now, and there are a lot of different versions of it. Yeah, breakfast is the top deck at the moment in my mind. Also a top deck at the moment, Demir Tempo. These Demir Frog decks, um, kind of the late 2024 Delver deck in the format is these Demir Frog decks. They don't have the reanimator package. They don't have uh, the Metamorphosis Fanatic. Frog, Tamio, Nethergoyf, Barrowgoyf, Removal, Days, Wasteland, Force of Will, Ponder, Brainstorm. You'll see Fatal Push. You'll see Go for the Throat. You'll see... Uh, you get the idea. Uh... These decks are solid right now. And with Eternal Weekend coming up, I think you could expect to play against Demure Tempo. If you're not prepared for Demure Tempo, I don't know what you're doing. Lush Portico, Surveil. I'll turn one for Shane. Dumps a loam into the graveyard. Okay. Okay, we got a game. Like drawing a card right there. All right, there's the frog. It's the frog. Oh, oh no, it's a frog. Windswift Heath. Oh. Yeah, people wanted Delver out of the format for years, and now we have Demir Tempo without Delver. Tank Terry says, can't go wrong with breakfast like a bacon, egg, and cheese on a toasted roll. You know what, Tank Terry? Tank Terry is a real New Yorker. Elvish Reclaimer. Okay. Okay. Elvish Reclaimer, key card in the lands decks. Um... David will likely have removal in the 60 card, sixty cards capable of removing the Silver's Reclaimer. If it doesn't get removed, Shane could start doing some scary things with it. AJ Potato says, how about a donation goal for Chris Backpack stream record at Eternal Weekend? Yeah. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a lot going on in that. In that um, I have done uh, stream backpack stuff at large events before. That's an expedition map for Shane, by the way. Um, I have done Eternal Weekend coverage before as a commentator. Going into 2025, I'm starting to think about the future of 90s MTG. How much... Um, coverage of larger events we can kind of fit into the schedule so to speak this year earlier this year we did an SCG con event that was super fun it was a legacy 5k i think at SCG philly we've done the kind of local competitive events the 2ks and 1ks here in nyc for 2025 though i mean this stuff is hard to plan uh, there's a lot of uncertainty. If you're enjoying 90s MTG, you want more coverage of large legacy events, and you think this channel will be a great place to showcase them, consider becoming a member. Um... Without our members, this channel just implodes, collapses, ceases to exist as it is. The more people we can get to put their name down on our list of supporters and say, give me more of this, it makes it a lot easier for me to plan ahead. 
get those flights and hotels booked, car rides, whatever, Amtrak, train rides. Um, without their memberships, it's really hard to grow. So I try not to spend a lot of time on like trying to convince people that we should all, you know, chip in or whatever. It's it's complicated. Force pitching ve uh, days on the vexing bobble. There's a dark depths on the board now. Tamio on the board now. But uh, but yeah, seriously, if 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 you're loving this. You want more 90s MTG? You want 90s MTG to grow? Put your name down. Become a member. We have memberships as low as two US dollars a month. I think it's a sweet deal. You unlock a bunch of cool perks. And uh, yeah, I couldn't do it without all of you. So there's that. All right, enough of that. It makes me uncomfortable. Here's Psychic Frog attacking. Tamio attacking. Making a clue. Breck says, is there official coverage? Or is Anu streaming? I have no idea. I, I have no idea what's going on with Eternal Weekend. But, uh, but yeah. Merktide region, everybody. We got Merktide. We got the frog. Side Norna, thank you for the sub with Prime. 34 months. Side Norna's been with us for a while, as you can see. Has the badges to show it. Thank you, Sarah Dorna. Top plus. I uh, will move to combat. Urza Saga for Shane. Hits the board. Uh, okay. Publisher Clamor has survived. Expedition Map has survived. There's a Wasteland on the board. Psychic Frog plus Tamiel plus Murktide. Real threats. Yes. Yeah, there's Spell Bomb. Okay. Uh, Three. Three cards in Shane's hand. Only one land still. Okay, crop rotation happening now after I guess spell bomb was cracked to draw a card. Spell bomb could have bounced Murktide, but that doesn't seem to be the plan. Could she uh what could happen here? There is a wasteland available for David. So that's a factor. Okay, Yavamaya. This, this, uh, Loam in the graveyard for Shane means you could potentially see lands that get wasted like Dark Depths or Urza Saga or whatever come back. But the creatures on the other side present a pretty fast clock. Exhibition map in Elvish Reclaimer could search for lands. What would make sense to search for? I'm not sure. Savior uh, <laughs> with an exciting announcement. Just became a member on YouTube as well, Chris. You deserve the success for all the hard work you put in for the legacy content. Thank you, Savior. That really means a lot to me. I appreciate it. Some of you out there have uh, doubled up on memberships or whatever. and It means a lot. It keeps this thing going. Couldn't do it without Savior and everybody else that's been chipping in. Thank you. Okay, swinging with 
with uh, Murktide and Tamio. Psychic Frog will hang back. Kill. Pretty good. Eight. I gain uh, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Two triggers. Draw one. Draw two. Triple Tamio. Two clues now for, for David. Plus the fairy. Pass. Okay, flash and exploration accidentally there, but crop rotation sacking lush portico. Uh, get a maze maze. Getting a maze and targeting Merktide. So the maze is allowed a second wasteland. Interesting. There is a life in the loam in the yard, so just like wasting Maze of Ith does not feel super exciting. Dark Depths, getting tapped for mana because it's a forest. Elvish Reclaimer, it looks like... Nope, Expedition Map. Yeah, so Shane, it looks like, didn't want to sack any of the lands in play, so searching for a wasteland with expedi Expedition Map. What happens now? Okay, it looks like dredging loam. Looks like life totals have been completely lost. Looks like nobody knows how to fix it. Looks like we're playing commander. Oh boy. They really. All right, I got it. <laughs> we fixed it. Uh, dredging life. Yeah, yeah. Okay, dredging life from the loam. Dredge another copy of loam. Mox Diamond, Urza Saga, all dumped into the graveyard. Saga. Urza Saga ticks up to two. Exploration. My wasteland. Yep. Wasteland, one of your wastelands. Waste your waste. David has the option to fire back. That one is going to waste your ma main your uh, wasteland maze. Uh, wasteland maze. Uh, <laughs> okay, so the wasteland that was targeted by wasteland will target Maze of Ith. Maze of Ith will die. Life and alone. Return maze, wasteland, Urza Saga. Plays Maze of Ith. Did the life of loam just go back to hand? What just happened here? I think the maze of the life of loam accidentally went back to hand. Should be in the yard. You got maze. What was the other two you got back? Um, maze wasteland or something. Okay, Shane not noticing. I th I think that's what happened. Kyle saying that's what happened. Ah, oh, it's been corrected. Okay, it's been corrected. Shane just goofed for a moment there. All right, moving on. Here's Brazen Borrower getting flashed in. It's another attacker. I'm going to try and um, do some damage this turn, despite Maze of Ith being in the way. Sack a clue, draw a card. Yeah, there are two copies of Life in the Loam in the graveyard. One of them was dredged. Uh, one of them was milled by dredge. Okay, discarding a card to the frog. Giving the frog flying. Growing the Merc Tide. Seven, ten, one, twelve. Okay, so five damage gets in. Dave says, I forgot to waste your maze. Most likely the maze will come back. Tamio flips into the Inquisitive Scholar now. It will plus. Wasters a saga, okay. 
Seems fine. Let's see if Shane dredges here. Most likely, I think I think we will see a dredge. <coughs> Pew Pew says, I wasted the Saga because I thought he was still on Lava Spur Boost, which would have killed me on the crackback. But you told me he wasn't playing it, so wish I so wish I had wasted the maze. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know uh, how much Lava Spur Boots is getting played right now. I haven't. I feel like I haven't seen that card in a while. Has that card just died off? Yeah, it's true. Shane used to be running Lava Spur Boots. I do. I do know that, but that card might just be completely shut out of Legacy right now. Yeah, it's been replaced by Vexing Bobble, exactly. Just haven't seen Lavis Per Boots recently. Could come back, though. Okay, discarding some cards to grow the frog. Jumping the frog now. Frog gets flying. Big attack. Okay, sacking Urza's Saga to Elvish Reclaimer. What does Reclaimer want here? Planes and Stoneforge. There's an exploration now on the board for Shane. Finds a ghost quarter. I think I heard Shane say, I'm not really sure why I'm doing this right now, but whatever. Um, so the timing on that Elvish Reclaimer activation wasn't particularly significant. The rest of the damage looks like it's going to come through. Merktide will be uh, sent back on defense by Maze of Ith. Psychic Frog trigger, draw a card. Plays a basic swamp. A combination of Waste, Ghost Quarter, Tabernacle could put Shane in a really good place. Let's see what happens with this dredge. Expiration. Expiration, soul guide, and another loam. So nothing really found. Hmm. Elvish Reclaimer could find Tabernacle. So that's not an issue. Okay, so Underground Sea gets hit. Basic Island gets hit. Uh, go to second. Ooh, Bowmaster gets flash in. If if Shane finds Tabernacle though, that that's that's not going to be super important. Life in the loam, okay. Gets two lands back. Well, three lands back. Can make two land drops. Perfect. Okay, wasting. And I think we're close to closing this out for Shane. Sacks Wasteland to Reclaimer. There is still Tamio on the board, don't forget. Tabernacle. And it looks like Dave has scooped it. David did a good job applying pressure and chipping away at that life total despite the Maze of Ith, despite the uh, Elvish Reclaimer available to block. Kyle says Tabernacle worth every penny. Wow. Wow. There's Tamio. Brainstorm. Uh, There's a Saga comes in. Gets a counter. Mox Diamond discards an Urza Saga. 
Swords Tamio. We had someone on stream earlier today asking if lands runs removal. There's a swords. Takes out Tamio. <laughs> Passing the turn. Seven. Tech 13 says lands runs four swords these days. Yeah, definitely. Other than punishing fire in years past, like 2023, 2022, going back further than that, 10 years ago, what removal spells other than punishing fire were played usually in lands? <laughs> Just Maze of Ith, Glacial Chasm, Tabernacle, stuff like that. Sideboard stuff like Celestial Purge. Mm. There was quite a while where, like, really the, 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 at least one of the main removal spells in lands was Punishing Fire. <laughs> That was like the, the mainstream lands deck with Grove of the Burn Willows. All right, so a Surveil put a Nether Goyf into the graveyard. Yeah, Drop of Honey. Drop of Honey was one we saw for a while, yeah. All right, Shane's making some constructs, searching now, it looks like. It's just, just, it was more or less because I like to use a circle attraction if I can. Are, are those constructs without sleeves? I don't know if I like the ley line. I mean, it stops the frog from flying. Yeah. And, I mean, Either spell bomb is found. That could help later on. Yeah, this is like I, I kind of rebuilt the deck stack from the last time I played. Okay, Mayor of Pendrel Vale, Hype Train Conductor Mayor says. Just inner sleeves. That's Shane in the chat talking about the constructs. Okay, so we got some inner sleeves on the constructs, but that's it. A little bit strange. A little bit strange. I'm not going to judge, but it's a little weird. Wow, we reached our sub goal, and the alert was so damn loud. 260. Thank you, everybody. Yes. I still draw dogs. Yeah. Okay, there's now a spell bomb. So both players have a spell bomb from different eras of Mirrodin. Very interesting. Signed to memory on the Urza Saga trigger. Okay, so this thing's not making any constructs. I dig it. <laughs> Kayo with a great question. What's the best spell bomb? It might be Nile spell bomb. Right? Is there a better one? <laughs> It's like Nile for spell bomb either and Pyrite. I don't know if any other ones ever get get played. I don't know about Commander though. There might be a better one for Commander. If there is, I don't know what it is. There might be one that like ramps you or something that played in Commander. I don't know. Is everybody in Commander just ramping? I don't know what's going on. Big attacks from these constructs. David's in some trouble here in game two. Dark Depths on the board. There's a saga ticked up to two, but it cannot make constructs. Cannot make constructs. Merc oh. oh, that's the game. Merc tied into Spellbomb just isn't going to be enough. Shane gets it. 
GG's and Niles Bellbaum is the winner. GG's.